Hello everyone, this is Gamer, and welcome back to Quantum Break. Let's continue with last off, shall we? Let's see if we can escape this, uh, hellhole. <laughs> Focus, Jack. Focus. Focus on me. Ooh. Move it. Oh no! Oh, I know what I need to do. Okay, I'm stupid. Okay. Focus, Jack. Focus. Ooh, that was close. Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it could get much worse. But we both know it did. Oh yeah, it got. Ooh. Ooh, this is ugly. Seriously? Fuck. 
Fuck. Fuck. Damn it, I died, I died, died. <laughs> Alright. At least you know what to do now. Not too difficult. No, 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 not again. Keep moving. Woo! Well, that guy was freaking out right there. That was weird. That guy. Oh, I see him. Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. She probably is frozen. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. Yeah. You ow. won't stop time from breaking down. You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. <laughs> my music Deal with it. such a hard ass <laughs> Who the fuck are you people? this song hey
Hey, that's a good song. Okay, I can't go wrong with her against that. That's actually a good song. I'm not mad at her. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, but I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. I like how everyone's walking. I'm the only one running like crazy. Locked. Jack. That key you got from Will's briefcase. Mm, okay. Key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Can you find a way in, Jack? We shouldn't stay out here. I know. Hold on. Any ideas how to get inside? The whole building's falling apart. It's gotta be an opening somewhere. You okay? I just checked the news reports and Monarch is being heralded as a hero. No, I'm not okay. Because if I had just refused to make that confession... Then you'd be dead. Somebody else would have done it. Doesn't make it easier. True. It's not your fault. Yep, found the way up. Wait a minute. This is weird. Huh. I could swear this is the same cab I was in when I came to the university. It's a taxi. They all look the same, don't they? No, this one's different. I'll check the license plate on my phone and see if anything comes up, but... I mean, it's a long shot. Something's off about this taxi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I see two of me right there. Okay. That's weird. That kind of freaked me out for a second. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's gotta hurt. I see what what they did here. There's a little bridge over here. Hurry up! Hurry up! Wow. Hey, I just looked up the license plate of the cab parked <coughs> over there. It belongs to somebody named Nick Marsters. Nick Marsters? That's the name of one of the witnesses we picked up from the university. Yeah, I recognized his picture. I saw him there. But how did his cab get here? Do you think Monarch took it? It's not possible. I've been monitoring Monarch activities this whole time. I honestly don't know. 
Don't tell me the taxi driver works for Monarch. Oh god, who else is on their payroll? Yes, Amy. What is it? There were others taken from the university. Friends of mine. What happened to them? Should be released by now. Monarch convinced them the same thing they convinced everybody else. That what Monarch did at the university was necessary to protect them from... From Jack. Yeah. Guessing your little video on the news helped with that. No offense. Jesus. They have no idea what happened. Hmm. Found a way in. Hey, I think I found a way in. Why me? What? I mean, they could have picked anybody. To lie for them? To make that confession? Why me? Maybe Serene thought you look like somebody people could trust. Maybe you're the right face for TV. Or maybe you just wanted to see you break. One of those things is close by. I need to make sure not to miss it because last time I missed one and I'm pissed about that. Well, not pissed, but upset. What the fuck? Damn it. These stutters aren't going away. Yeah, I'm never going to get used to those stutters. So freaky. <clears throat> All right, so far, so good. I really want to keep on going, but I'm afraid of this game crashing, though. <clears throat> Something's over there. Over here. Well, can't run. I'm just walking. Sort of walking. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. Hmm. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order... Wait, he's gone. Where'd he go? Shit. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. Come on, come on, come on. You're okay. You're all right. You're all right. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes. No sign of Schrodinger. This is a very good sign. Two minutes to go. Okay, so, yeah, turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor for... Five minutes took a shit on the tubing. This reveals a very clear flaw in my test. My mouse is an idiot. Okay, the machine is warming up again. Should be able to activate test number two in around about five minutes and 15 seconds. It's now clear the only quantifiable test will be travel to the past. The machine is now calibrated to send Schrodinger five minutes into the past, which means that he will now be traveling counterclockwise through the corridor, and when he comes out the other... Holy shit. Holy shit, it worked. This... this is clear proof that it's... Uh, what, I'm, what I'm now looking at is a future version of the same mouse that has successfully traveled five minutes into the past. Schrodinger, meet future you. $12,000 moving bill. He must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Damn, that's a lot of money. Hope you can pay that bill off. Well, unfortunately, he's dead, so he can't. He won't have to worry about bills anymore. You own this place since. 
Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. The game crashed. Oh, Lord. Here we go again. $12,000 mover bill. Where'd he go? He must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. You owned this place since 1999? You're right. Why didn't you tell me, Will? Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine. Big-ass secret, dude. Clockwise, through the corridor. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. Meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. We already heard this, so let's keep going. It has now been three minutes. Hello, Riverport. Teresa Sedmack here, filling in for Bobby Radford. About to brighten your day with some good news. The victims wounded during the terrorist attack were recovered from the in downtown Riverport, and the hospital has released a statement saying they are all now stable and out of critical condition. I'm sure they are thankful for all your good thoughts and prayers. As It's right here. Nice. All right. Hell yeah. Um, how much do I have? Three. That one requires four. That one requires four. 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 And this last one's six. I know, I know, I'm coming. Any luck in there? Working on it. Ooh, this place is dingy. July 4th, 2010. The hell is this? I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure. Let's on. try this again. Taken. Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives. Hey, Jack, you gonna unlock this door for us? Yeah, just hold on. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. I already did. Now how about you tell me how you know Will? I've never met your brother. I find that hard to believe, considering the video I just watched. What are you talking about, Jack? See for yourself. It's in the next room. This note is directed Beth Wilder. at me. This video to you. you told me to stay away from my friend, but I couldn't just meet her there. Beth Wilder, get it? I'm addressing this video to you. High price, it's a disaster zone. Let me stay away from counter shop, but I couldn't just leave it there. She's back, get it? The entire place is a disaster zone. Empty. The counter is just the door that has it taken. She's just a power. The same is immeasurable. Empty. Just need to know you have it. Our entire lives so long and it's not into power. It's a measure of all hope for nothing. Our future, you know where to find me. Our entire lives, hurry and not in. This can all be for nothing. 2010. You know find me. Please, hurry. Holy shit. What was he talking about? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> oh, 
Typo. I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I really want to save my game right now because I'm afraid the game might crash again. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Oh. Well, thank you. Is that? Yeah, I think so. Holy the second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Um... Explanation? Anybody? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. You must have hit it here. Feel free to fill me in. Anytime now. Okay, core controls. Where are they? These schematics are all in Will's writing. He did all of this. Built everything. Monarch was made aware of its existence shortly after it was completed. Night. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell's it look like? A round thing in the middle. I think. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Okay. The schematics for the countermeasure spanned 11 years, 1999 to 2010. In itself, that wasn't strange. But the guy built a working time machine in two. Hmm. William Joyce. This picture, though. Like he's smiling, but at the same time, he's freaked out. Okay. Anybody check out this map? It looks like he labeled where everything is. Need to find a way to reset the core first. Okay. Okay, where are the reset controls? Hey, Jack. You might want to check out this monitor. Find anything back there? No, nothing I can make sense of. Sorry about that. The game keeps on crashing. I'm sorry about that. Okay, okay. Civilian's Guide to Time Travel. Holy crap, that's a lot of, uh, steps. 10 out of 11. I mean, very important steps, but good lord, so much to read. There's one more narrative novel, I bet you, before we moved on. I mean, before we move on. Whoa, look at all this stuff. Ooh, look at that. Upgrade point and a narrative over here. Parents killed in river... Oh... 
His family. All right, that's all the narrative stuff. All right, let's go to this machine. All right, let's do this. How do I get down there? Need to figure out before my game crashes. Ah! Whoa! Core access. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. Hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will leads us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. All right. Heading towards your way, uh, Amy. Here goes nothing. Press it or smash, because I'm smashing the W button right now. Going so dramatic. There you go. What was that? It's fine. It's fine. It worked. <laughs> it actually worked. Okay. We activate the corridor next. Okay. There is no way that thing should be exposed like that. It's fine, Amy. Paul been through it. I think I went through it. It should be okay. Thank God. Um, is that supposed to do that? Will's key did that? Yeah. Key to a time machine, and he left it in the trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's my brother in a nutshell. That didn't sound good. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. This is gonna work. It has to. You guys aren't actually planning to use this machine, are you? So, I guess you're not at all concerned that one guy jerry-rigged this entire thing together? Because I think I literally see duct tape. Okay, no, this is a great idea. Yeah, no way that this is gonna backfire. <laughs> no, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. Malfunction. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's this wrong with the machine. We don't know that. Input. You're not trained for I'm this. I'm guessing this is it. Anything you do is going to make it worse. We you can't. know okay. I'm right. Her cop. I'm trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. 
Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. Well, that was quick. Paul. End of Act 2. Finally. I've been a mess, I can't help it. I just go round and round. Hey. I'm selfish. Push me, I climb up, I'm shellfish. We had a dream, I shellfish. That eats me up, that's Elvis. Las Vegas, Sierra, I'm hot bag lady, hot bagheera. I got my hand on my heart, but my heart's in the gutter. Talking to herself, starting to flutter when it thinks about yours. Barking at mine like a... Is she spinning bars? Oh man, I should've let, I should've let her continue, but I didn't want the game to crash though. Junction 2, personal, business slash personal. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that. But I didn't know why exactly, or how it would end. There is. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Playing that Serene now? Or Paul? Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who can win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. There's me. I mean, the main character. Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. My car! Get up, my car! What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Don't even twitch. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? Oh, God. Choose whether to focus on your personal business or the mission. Come on. I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Hold down the show business. I believe. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in the face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. 
the plan would go forward as intended. Okay, that's business. So what would happen if we make this personal? Up into the past. I tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bob. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Oh. Business or personal? Crap. You know in real life people would choose business. But I'm going to go with personal. Martin, I'm afraid you're going to have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. Oh god, that face. That face of evil. I've seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Hmm. Just too personal. He chose to have Serene focus on his personal business. 67% of your friends agree. Cool. Including All right, let's try this again. Oh, we already saw this. Fifty-three percent of the community agree with you. Sixty-seven percent of your friends agree with you. Okay, cool. Moving on. Time is breaking down. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Mark. Well, let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? I want a statement. Our group took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone! We need all points converge on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Ooh, I like the color change. Episode 2, Prisoner. Please don't let this crash on me. I want to enjoy this without crashing, please. Breathe. They're losing their effectiveness. They're fine. No. I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than we... I've seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something.
Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you. Monarch Mansion on Gull Island. You haven't touched your drink. I am mean, just not. I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Rough day? Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Like what? I have things happen in my day. I do. Uh huh. We had, uh, I had to deal with some internal affairs. Internal affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Okay. I helped catch a traitor today. Traitor? Was that what all that commotion was about? Yeah. Okay. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> Who's the... Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't... I can't, uh... What? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one. For real. This time. Well, I just thought maybe you'd wanna share it with me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use the restroom, so... You hang in here, for real. Okay. Go mingle. Yeah. Drink okay. a little. Okay. Yeah. Right. That guy is so fucking awkward. You don't know what to do at a party. <laughs> oh, don't throw up. At least I have a strong stomach, but please don't throw up. It sucks to throw up. Oh, she knows something. Liam! I guess it'll be good time to talk. Thanks for the gun. <laughs> Dr. Rummel? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. And what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look 
looks threatened to you. Youch. Yeah, I just backed away the hell away from that. That, that guy's scary. We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. Huh. Monarch Security Station. At least you can walk around. I'm surprised they let you walk around and not get not stay tied up to the chair. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker! Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Nice. Fuck, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! Uh, Over there. Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good choice. Yeah. But I'm going to have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks. Chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh, my God. You're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told ya. Why am I losing you so bad? Bird. I don't think I can drink Drink. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Alcohol is this dude's weakness. Oh, I actually hate all of this. You can do it, my man. Thanks for your encouragement. <laughs> Oh. Nicely done. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. All right, lady. I'm taking, so I'm taking mine too. Crocker, 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 hey, hey, buddy. Crocker! Crocker! Burke! Crocker! Hey, buddy, hey, 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 hey. Burke, listen, if I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, what a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut yeah. up. Back up slowly. Yeah. Whoa! Damn, he's too badass. So Monarch Orange Island. We left you. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think because somebody twisted my arm. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur. Exactly what it looks like. Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? That sign. I'm not sure. Seriously. So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Where the hell are the well, subtitles? I canceled all my other really important plans. Uh, okay, there they are. Uh, wow. They just disappeared for one second. I guess time fucked it up. <laughs> it doesn't feel like work. You know? I like being wired in. Yeah. What the hell's wrong with this buffering, too? Connected. 
you work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, do you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm there. I guess, yeah. Love work. Hold oh, it right shit. there! Shit! Shit! Hey, you little fuck! Hey, get up! All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab! You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? She's the reason I'm here. Gun still necessary? Yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. Yeah, I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> What is that? Protagonist. Monarch Security Station. second machine. Where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Fuck, we're lying. <laughs> I've been to the past. I've tried to change things. Undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable 
time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. My memory, however, it's stretched. Like, I've seen too much. All of it blending into one, apart from a few fragments of memories, one in particular. You and I, 11 or 12 years old, when we found that vagrant, remember? And when I arrived at the past, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof, I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him and he fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. And we keep seeing that body. Because we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race. At this point, they're a necessary sacrifice. Is that what well was? Necessary sacrifice. Who we'll refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? ready to cooperate, I'll be here. Camera stare. Who was he? He was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's from then a mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got the um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're... they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea. But the, the Cronon Field Regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Turn. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. You end up like her. Fiona. The lab is stutterproof. Stay here. At the stutter? Where are you going? There are Kronon harnesses up here. We need them. Whoa. Holy crap. 
Yeah. That was cool. End of episode two. Nice. I love that. That was very cool. Man, those stutters get you though. But Charlie's such a backstabbing traitor. Act three, the wine and cheese crowd. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were gonna kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Well, I was starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you was too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? Okay. How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, ah, ah. Stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. Of course. I appreciate it. Sure. What's it look like out there? Spreading ripples. I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation. Looks like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, Weenie. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> All right, guys, I have to end my video here finally. If you like this video, please give this video a like. Comment on this video on Highlight Games so far. Subscribe channel to see more game videos like these. All right, this has been Gamer. Peace out, and I'll definitely see you on the next episode of Quantum Break. Bye, everyone.